Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Monday morning, day after the Super Bowl. New England won. I'm a New England fan, but um, every Monday morning, I got to hear a bunch of so-called um, Redskins fans, Dallas fans, boast and argue all day about the game. Now, um, this is the reason why uh, I've been a Patriot fan for a while now, and this is one of the reasons why I, um, I like the Patriots. First of all, they have a good system. Bill Belichick, um, coming from a, a, a winning coach, you know. Um, not only that, his system. Any you could put anybody in the system, and they still would win. The Patriots last time that they went to the Super Bowl, um, they lost thirty something players out of fifty something. So you had thirty something new players going back to the Super Bowl with them this time around. Um, Tom Brady reason why I like him a lot because he had loyalty he had a good work ethics and um, he studied the game he played the game like he said before in one of his um one of the documentaries he played the game as if his his job is jeopardized so he's really dedicated he, he had the same ritual that he had in college on Thursdays on Wednesday every Wednesday and Thursday he still had the same ritual that he had in college. Now he he um not only that, if you follow if you have followed Tom Brady or researched Tom Brady, his uh he always been fighting for the for the quarterback spot throughout college. So that's having changed. That's that's just part of his work ethics to to uh, be the best. And and not only that. If Bill Belichick, now here's for all the haters. Now, if Bill Belichick uh, decide not to not to coach for New England, y'all other teams will be glad to have him. Y'all will pay him whatever money that he's asking for, you know, just to pick him up because he's a winning coach. Now, as far as Tom Brady, if Tom Brady was a free agent, y'all would love to have him. Y'all would love to have him on the team. And then I hear people say that, oh, Joe, Joe Montana is better than Tom Brady because it's never his winning. Uh, most of his wins wasn't decided on a, you know, on just a, a, a field goal or whatever. But newsflash, let me tell you something. When you're playing football, it's a team effort. Now, Tom Brady might be the, the talk of New England, but he didn't do it by himself. Every each time that they have a that they play a tight game, it's someone else that stepped up to the plate. Now there's a difference between uh, playing for a team that uh, that you get money for and playing for a team that you want to play for, that you want to be a part of. Any people took pay cuts to play with the Patriots, you know. Uh, these when you when people come to the Patriots, they are dedicated to play. That's why they they dedicated to play for the coach. They dedicated to play on Tom Brady team, and they step their game up when they need to step it up. Now, what quarterback you know miss four games and then come back and win? Okay, come back and win the whole thing. Okay, you can say it's controversy. You can say whatever y'all gonna y'all gonna try to figure out um, y'all gonna to make yourself feel good. Y'all gonna come up with all types of excuses why the Patriots is a winning team and why this and why that. The facts still remain. He, he just more dedicated than than the other quarterbacks. The the team is built is built on I don't you know they just have a great ass system that anybody would love to have. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. So now I got to go in here and listen to these bunch of Redskins fans make excuses. My timeline was blowing up. You had the bandwagons, Bama jumping on the Atlanta Falcons bandwagon and all that other stuff. And this is one of the reasons why. And, and you can't take it away from their team because the Falcons had like the number one defense. So you got number one offense going to a number one defense. And the game played out like it should have played. Anybody know in football, speed kills. Now, the defense might not have a bunch of big big dudes 
but they fast as hell. The defense speed kills any any um, offense team. Defense with speed kills any offense team. But the thing is, reason why Atlanta lost, because they got a jumped on New England, okay, and they thought they had the game in the bag. They thought they had the game in the bag. But the game is never over until you see all zeros. Okay. New England, uh, they they went in they went in um, halftime, whatever. They adjusted. And another thing, Tom Brady was playing on emotions. And maybe that that's why he didn't really get a good start like he should have got a good start. Because he, he worried about his mother. He dedicated the game to his parents, to his father. But when you saw this is different between a championship team and a and a regular team. When when the when he knew that he had to step his game up, okay, and they won the corn toss, he said, fuck that. I, I'm not playing no more. Two minute drill, bam, he went downfield. You gotta get white his props. That's another unknown player that's on the New England team that stepped his game up. Hogan was an unknown player. At one time, he stepped his game up. Okay, when the when LeBlanc when Blunt didn't do what he's supposed to do, or whatever, they went with someone else. They plug somebody else in their system. They have a great system. It's nothing you could you could take away from the, from Belichick and Tom Brady. Now now let's just just deal with the facts. Get your emotions out of it and just deal with the facts. They have a great system. The um, Belichick been plant been um, coaching for the Patriots for the last 17 years. Okay, Tom Brady told Robert Kraft when he drafted them six when they draft when he when they when he got drafted with uh, with the Patriots the sixth round he said this is one of the best investments that you ever made. That was that was what damn near 12 years or more ago. What can you say about that? They gave him a chance and he never looked back. If you look at if you look at his career, like I said, if you look at his career since the Super Bowl, I mean since college, he always been an underdog. He always been an underdog. That's why he has so much success. He's very humble and he always been an underdog. So he always had that desire to, that that he had to prove something to somebody, that he had to be a winner. Okay, so you can't take nothing away from him. Say what you will, but you can't take nothing away from Tom Brady and not just not just him making a team. I mean, not just him winning, but it's a team effort. It's a team effort from the kicker. He get it down to where it's the okay. Now, I did my job as a quarterback. Now, do your job as a punter. I did my job. I gave you the ball. Now, it's your job to run up that field. It's your job to hit them hoes. And they love to play for, for um, not Tom Brady, they love to play for the Patriots. Because Bill Belichick has a winning system. Nothing you can say. You can say, oh, the, uh, the deflate ball or whatever. Anybody know it get cold, your goddamn tires go down, the ball going to deflate a little bit. That's just, that's just science. That's just physics. Anybody know that when it's cold, Air come out the tires, air come out the ball. But you got to find something to make you feel better about Tom Brady winning. Oh, he cheated, he cheated, he cheated. What are you talking about? What are you talking about he cheated? If, if they so-called so, so um, wanted them to win so bad, they were the one against the Giants in the Super Bowl. Okay? They were the one last year. Oh, I mean, um, they would have went to the Super Bowl last year. Okay, so I don't man, miss me with all this cheating stuff. Hey, you can't take nothing away from them. Congratulations to the Patriots.